Hello everybody and welcome back exactly where we left off at the end of the last episode. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Why are these doors open? You can auto these doors again. I also noticed as we ended the last one, we have 32 tons of lead, which makes me think they've probably come down here and mined all of the lead that we asked them to mine very nicely in the last episode. Yep, look at that. I came through. Stripped all of the lead out. Except a couple of pieces here and there, that's fine. And a couple of pieces in here they can't really reach. Also fine. Loads of lead though, super happy about that. Ah, well, wouldn't you know it. There's a, a border here that we can work with. Another salt biome. I'm interested to come in here and see what's happening. I'm sure we'll get to that eventually. Yeah, they're all nines, so. So I want to get down there. Fives. Interesting. Interesting. Anyways. I'm going to let them keep doing what they're doing. Oh, I should tab up. Ah, oh, you built a conductive wire. All the way down to there. Interesting. So... Actually, I'm not sure that we want them to do that. We do want it connected, though. In the meantime, we want... Hmm. Well, this... Deconstructed. They haven't done this wire. Is that for any particular reason? Gossman's going to do it right now. Thank you very much. Right? Oh, but I bet you she has to go all the way down in order to get... Yeah. This should probably be a... A whoosh thing. Um, transit tube. Whoosh. If you ever see, by the way, an episode titled Whoosh, that'll be the one where we've actually got this working. <laughs> Making it through. That's good. Plastics limited. Nope, not the insulated, the conductive wire. Okay, she, she went all the way there. She had to get the material. Nailed it. That should mean, yeah, everything is connected as it should be. So what are we going to do now? Conductive wire to connect those. Probably across like so. And down. Like that uses a decent amount of conductive wiring but it, it needs to be done so you'll be connected you'll be connected this stuff needs to be connected as well probably just straight across like that I would imagine And then like that, like that, 
something like that so that we can turn these pumps off if need be. Deconstruct those. Deconstruct all of that. Yep. Yeah, get rid of all of that. Get rid of all of that ugliness. All of that as well. This will turn off for the time being. But that's okay. Deconstruct you and deconstruct you as well. Nice. Okay. We're saving space and we're cleaning the place up. Oh yeah, you. Deconstruct you as well. You're probably still on. Yeah, you can be turned off for now. Temperature wise, it's really cool in here. Awesome. Let's double check all of this. Right, here we go. They'll plug into that. And then... I guess I could just use an automation wire. Signal into all gas pressure in the chosen range. Probably just a signal switch for now, right? What do you do? No, show me the automation grid. Sends a green signal when a reservoir is less than low threshold or until high. No, I don't need that. Um, what about you guys? So yeah, sends the signal when the batteries are powered off. When wattage consumed. Build one of these here. So basically... Wait a minute, how, how do you how do you work? Um We'll build it and we'll see how it works. Basically, what I think will happen is with the wattage sensor, if it detects that there's like no if a certain amount of power being consumed, it will turn on, right? My hope is that this when if it detects that no power is being consumed, I could tell it to send a signal and then it could send a signal to this and be like, we have no power. This turns on and all of a sudden the gas gets to be pumped out. At least that's my hope. <laughs> we'll see, I suppose. Uh, I guess I'll take some algae. Why don't you come down here and deconstruct this for now as well? Cool. Yeah, and you do have a way back. That's good. Cancel that. Okay. You will be locked. And you will be unlocked. This is my big brain decree. Okay. Power's obviously has is there's an issue right now, right? With the power. 
I get it. We're having some troubles. It is what it is. You're busted. Why is that? Somebody should really repair you. Do you need wire? No. Wattage things can send a signal when a building is switched on or off. Okay. I don't know how we would make that work. Basically, my thinking was, could we have it so that when all of the natural gas generators are off, this thing turns on? I think it would be possible. I just, I still don't really know how. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuild the research stations again. But, but. Um, and I'm going to have them like finish researching basically everything that's automation that you've ever seen ever. So please, you know, have them do that. Re oh, I suppose, yeah, that gets done pretty quickly, all of that <laughs> wire, because it's just down there. It's fair enough. Cool, I like it. Yeah, you should. Should cancel that. Ooh, wire, yeah, deconstruct at a night. So, we've got a small number of power issues. Ah, we can open the research tab again. Yeah, dude. Okay. Let's see. What do we want to do? Pathogen diagnostics might be useful. I think we want a molecular forge. And then I think we want some home luxuries and all that kind of stuff. I'm also curious about these. These automation ribbons. Because I think what we can do is we could have multiple green signals come off of this thing in a ribbon wire. And so when all of the natural gas generators turn off, first of all, they send a signal to here to let them know that we're at full power. We'd need, Actually, these would also need a ribbon signal. Basically, this thing needs to know that A, all of these generators are off and all of the batteries are empty because they turn off when the batteries are full so if the batteries are full well, we could just do an or gate right all of these are off and the batteries are full that might be easier but yeah basically if the batteries are empty and these are off there's an emergency any stored gas unlock the valve start powering is we should get the bare minimum of power from this thing and we can probably pull the large wire up into here as well. At least that's my thinking. Oh, by the way, then we've, we've uh, managed to unlock that. Why is Nicholas suffocating?
Can I tell them to go somewhere? If Nicola dies right now, I'm going to be really annoyed. Why won't she move? Is she like stuck? Yellow alert that. She dies right now. She's dead. Okay. I don't know what happened there. And uh, I'm going to let you know. I'm not standing for it. We're loading a save. It's this one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Load me the newest save. I don't know what happened there. Why she could not move. And everybody else could clearly move. So... I can only assume I did something wrong or the game did something wrong. I don't know what the real answer is as far as I'm concerned, though it was the game. I don't think I did anything wrong. I throw my hands in the air. I throw myself at your mercy comments. If you know, if you know that I did something wrong, let me know, okay? However, I don't think I did. And unfortunately, we just caught it too late. She was already, like, almost dead. I, I wonder if we had put a block beneath her and they had built it, would she have just hopped down? But we'll never know. Now we just wait 4,000 years for this to load. So I'm going to just chat with you, audience. How do you think we're doing? If you're sticking around or watching or listening to the video, how do you think the colony's going? I think it's going fairly well. Better than it could have. Better than the first one I ever tried of this. Which I think if you remember the beginning of this game, or the beginning of this series, this is like season two. There's a season one. It lasts eight episodes, I think. We did not do well. Like that, we died. And pe people were stressed. They were breaking things. Come on, game, you gotta load. We'll get there. But that series, it was not good. This one, though, we have, like, it was a major milestone when we got plastic. The fact that we're using that plastic for something, huge. Like, building those transport tubes, I never thought we'd be here, honestly. Hey, there we go. Sweet. We're up here doing whatever. Looking at something. But now I know I've got to keep an eye on the people here. If they come down here and do this. We have, yeah, we have no plastic. That's fine. This is going to need power. Uh, I hadn't thought about that. It's probably unbreathable out here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You see, ideally they would come down here through the swoop. And they wouldn't have any... Uh, Okay. Dig it, fall down, get out of there. There we go. We kept our eye on them. Turns out they are dumb and they were just... She must have been trapped on something and I didn't realise. But I really don't think she was. Anyway, they're going to build this. Once this is built and these are built, you're unreachable. It's good to know. Please uproot that. Uh, once they've built this, we can lock this door off again and then nobody need ever come out through that door. He's building it. And yeah, you need power. Where are you going to get power from? This thing?
Oh, that pump doesn't pump. Good to know. Yeah, there's there's obviously some power drain from some of these things. I'll keep that in mind. This thing draws a lot of power. Doesn't draw that power all the time though. That's the important thing to remember. It's not drawing that power all the time. Right, ventilation. We'll do that. Automation for now. I'm just going to plug the switch in. So that we can let the excess gas through. It's night time, okay. People still using this, by the way. Ah, oh, see, we'd have more gas if they only did this. If they only did this. Do you know what I'm going to do? Construction. It's probably a good idea that I yellow alert these wires so that they get done first. And so, I'm going to do that as soon as the game unpauses and lets me reprioritize things. You should do that first. Ah, yeah. I also need to remember all my priorities are reset. There we go. So they should be coming down here. Yeah, they are. That's good. It's good. It might be worth having the fireman pole all the way down here as well. More obsidian. Sour gas is a hydrocarbon gas containing high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide. It is a byproduct of highly heated petroleum. Unbreathable. Okay. Not using that then. Nice. Just a couple more. Then we should be good, right? Couple more. Lead. Yep. Chunk. Chunk. Build, build. Build powered. Okay. The rest of those will be built as and when they get built. Most importantly though, we can now pull natural gas from up here, which is what we wanted to do in the first place. Please empty all of these pipes of gas, if you ever get the opportunity to do so. Thank you. Okay, we have a lot of food. It's a good amount of food. Do you know I'm going to do? I'm just going to specify that one day we're going to have a farm that goes all the way out to here. It's going to be awesome. We probably want... Ah, actually, I don't know. Leave it as is for now. One day we'll have a big farm. If we need to. We don't need to right now, but it's just, you know, it's, it's prepping. Just a bit of prepping. Okay, we've got a bit of that going through. I would love to get some... Uh, some solar power. Of course, to do that, you need a molecular forge, which we don't have. Where did we put? Ah, oh, we never, we never rebuilt 
the research thing. I'll do that now. Stations. Research station. One. Research station. Two. We don't need the other one just yet. We'll wire them up. But one day they should all be... Um, these lovely conductive wires. Like so, like a so, like a so, like a so. Okay. So let's just check. How, how's this going? It's going good. Not everything's connected though. Fair. You, you have a very, yeah, you have a very minor power load most of the time. When this is connected, which we should do now, and when this is connected, and this is connected, you might have a slightly thicker power load. I don't know if that's how I would describe that, though. <laughs> Thick power load. Let me never say that again. Ah, okay. Let's do that. And do that. Uh, and how will we connect that over here? Probably just through like this. Like this. And then up. Leaving a nice gap. And into that. That, that connects there. It would go like that. I guess that means it would be down there. And then something like it will all be on the same level, I think, across here. Into here, up and down, like that. And here it will still go down. Connect to this thing. Eventually, this thing's going to flood itself as well. There's so much salt water down here. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I love it. We just might need more desalinators. Because we are, we are at like maximum desalination capacity right now. So much oil. Um, oil reservoir? So we can pull oil out of this thing? Is that, um... How do you do that? Stations? No. Oil well. Extracts crude oil using clean water. Must be built atop an oil reservoir. 1,000 grams of water a second. So 1 kilogram of water a second. 240 watts of power. Produces 3,333.33 grams of crude oil a second. Overheats at 2,000 degrees. Two thousand two hundred degrees, two thousand fifty degrees. I don't think the difference between fifty and two hundred degrees means much, so we can probably just make it out of um, make it out of iron. Water pumped into an oil reservoir cannot be recovered. Yeah, I think any water that touches this oil is just becoming oil, which I think is why this is so full. And I guess that means that the water can't be recovered. I think that's fine because we have functionally unlimited water. Right, we get salt water, we turn the salt water into regular water. And the regular water becomes functionally unlimited water. We've still got a problem here. 
In fact, the heat is really seeping in through here. It might be worth that we deconstruct the temp shift plates back here. If you could hear me over the noise, over the yelling, I'll yell to, to get over the noise of the machines. Quite loud. Okay, it's just cooled off a little bit. Oh, yeah, give me something. Give me another Arbor Acorn. One day I'll figure out how to grow Arbor Acorns. And it will be awesome. There we go. Okay, so we've got natural gas pumping again. Which is lovely. Yeah, I was going to say, I bet you none of these are priority nine. I'll have them build that a priority nine again, I guess. Those nines. There's an oil well. So we can extract unlimited oil. Is what I understand from the oil well. You pump water in, oil comes out. There's another one over here. You can't explain that. This one will definitely be easier. If we want to build our industrial area over here, that is, I mean, we want to use both of them, obviously. But having two separate oil wells will be huge. Four hundred degrees. It's thirty, forty degrees. Because he here's what I'm thinking. The industrial area. We're gonna need to power it. How are we gonna power it? I mean, we could just. We could just use petroleum generators to power all of that, which might not be a bad idea. We're going to have fun. I know I say this a lot and I hesitate to say it because I could be completely wrong. Functionally unlimited oil? Question mark. And because of that, we could just convert with, you know, we swoop down there. We run a couple of these oil refineries that produces petroleum. Some of the petroleum gets turned into plastic. And the rest of the petroleum we could use in a petroleum generator to power the place. But then we definitely need extra petroleum just in case. Or we could have a steam vent. Because my thinking is steam turbines, right? This area. It's like 40 degrees or whatever. Down here, it's hot. 400 degrees. What you do is, boom, steam vent, steam turbine. Insulated tile, like across here, steam turbine, steam. Uh, drip a bit of water in, a drip, 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 turns into steam, steam turbine starts powering infinite power. Because it will, the output water, you use it to cool itself and then drip back into here or something like that. And you could just do like floor, floor, maybe, um, three steam turbines, aqua tuna to cool itself. Use the aqua tuna to just pump into here, into the 300 degree stuff. Although then again, the aqua tuna might need a cooler area up here or something. There, anyway. There's something to be done with that, right? We can make something happen. I think. By the way, I'm going to have them now mine. Like so. As well, just to see what's over there. It's downtime, they're chilling. Let me double check the power switch. It's looking good. I mean, please like deconstruct that though. <laughs> that shouldn't be the way that it be, but it do. Get rid of that. 
And unfortunately, that's where we're going to need to end this episode for today. Time really freaking flies when I'm playing this game because I love the game so much. Anyway, for now, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. It really helps me out. It helps the channel out. It helps us grow. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel for more content, past and future. Make sure you check out Twitter and Discord in the description down below. I'll ring the bell. Forgot to say that. I'll see all of you for the next episode where I hope that we make even more progress. So, see you then. Bye.